So here we see filter holder and our PBO12 machine quite easy in the handling. You see one switch does it, so it's uh, really easy and uh, even for me as a, a semi-professional uh, performer I try to do my best and uh, if you know some basic rules you can even operate as a, a yeah, semi-professional beginner. So the tamping, you see surface is closed and now let's see what's coming out. I just adjust it here to a bit uh, higher degree, insert the group and now I think where to push this one maybe. So, and Luca what do you think? It's okay for a, a beginner, for a Galatea beginner? Very, very good, very good. We have a, we have a very good extraction. Okay. And um, one question I have, is it possible to program the groups independently or when I program one group? Then? When you program the doors on the left yeah. group, you program also the right group. Ah, but if okay. you want yeah. to make different doors yeah. on the right yeah. group, you reprogram the right group. Okay, fine. So you can program the doors independently. Okay, yeah, but uh, in the main uh, applications is the same yeah yeah once. because the product that you sell usually it's ever the exactly same. Yeah, if yeah. you make one espresso here one yeah. size and here on other okay. size give to two friends yeah. after they complain so it's good for the barman <laughs> yeah and um, i don't have any experience uh, in the milk foaming with the galatea but uh, shall I try or...? Yes, so okay. now it's your turn. Oh my <laughs> goodness, just uh, hand me over. So really I'm absolutely Galatea unexperienced. So first step always to remove the condensed water out of the steam tap. And now I see it's quite powerful so I don't need to open it completely. Just with a little bit of feeling, hopefully. So now it's getting hot. Then I stop, clean the steam wand, of course, and remove the condensed water. And because it's a turbulent steam, uh, so uh, there is always the possibility that some milk enters the steam wand. So now we see, uh, we clean it this way. And uh, what do you guess about the uh, It's very good, but now, Marcus, it's your turn to draw yeah. on the cappuccino. Okay, oh my goodness. After my yeah. very oh. bad experience. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now comes the master of espresso disaster, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's try. Um, so the bed are open. Okay, so I'll make uh, another one. I guess, let's see. The magic PPO12 supports me or not. Yeah, consistency is good, I'm happy. Yeah, and also about the PPO12 grinder, it's uh, not very loud. It's, uh, yeah, I'm quite surprised that it's not that noisy. Like many other grinders, okay, now the tamping. And now, slowly, slowly, uh, the back flushing is this one? Yes, this is the continuous or the program. Okay, so I do one shot. Yes. And now I insert. And let's see what's happening. Okay, yeah, outflow looks very nice. Yes. So it's a reproducible result, or how? Yes, one, yeah. once that you have find the right mm -hmm. setting of the grinder, yeah. and the, you have set also the right coarseness, the yeah. right quantity, you can reproduce your coffee quality until the weather is changed. Because when okay. the humidity is changed, you have to change the coarseness of the coffee. Okay. Not the quantity, yeah. but the coarseness. 
But that doesn't mean that you have to change it four times a day. Uh, no, if the water don't change four times a day, okay, yeah. we are working with the powder. If you have more humidity, the powder, when you press, yeah. uh, is more packed. So okay. change the result of the coffee. So, now uh, I'm first trying to make a heart, okay, that's my first attempt. Or some special S, let's see what's uh, the result. Uh. Yeah, ah, something. Okay, not so good, but at least we see the consistency. You are ever better than me. Yeah, and now maybe something... Ah, oh, no. Yeah, but at least we see uh, how the consistency of the foam... It's, uh, yeah, it's quite okay. Only my skills are very poor, so please excuse. But, uh, well, <laughs> that's the way how we learn. That's quite natural. So we are not Superman or something. We are just uh, uh, developing our skills. And, of course, Luca is the master of the espresso machine. And he's uh, not the barista, but we are in the way of uh, developing also as a kind of a hobby barista, but the yeah. uh, machine really is uh, outstanding. Wow, big compliment. Thank you. <laughs>